Welcome to the first video in a series of videos we're going to be doing on Fridays. We're going to be calling them Fearless Fridays. And these are videos around challenging yourself, pushing yourself a little bit further. And this is going to be about physical challenges, going out in the world and pushing yourself. You know, we love releasing here. You know, we love the internal work, but to get the best experience out of the internal work, you need to have some external work. So as you do the external work, then the stories and the limiting beliefs and the uh, programs come up and you can start letting those go a little bit at a time. So for the first month, as, as we're looking at this, we want to kind of have themes around the month. So for the first month, I really want to focus on consistency as a really big theme and maybe a little bit of expression because you need a lot of expression to have your approaches go well. If you just have consistency, but you're numbed out, it doesn't mean anything. So if I'm walking up to two girls a day and saying, hi, I just wanted to meet you. But in reality, I'm like, hi, I just wanted to meet you. There's no expression, no emotional expression. Then what's going to happen is you're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to enjoy the process. So the first thing I want to invite you into is this idea of consistency. Consistency is really important for growth and consistency means consistency, not quantity. A lot of guys get that confused. They think I'm going to go out this weekend and approach 30 women at the bar or on the street, and then I'll get over my fear right away. But it doesn't really work that way. How it works is consistency over time, preferably a smaller amount of approaches on a regular basis for 30 to 90 days can really have a massive impact on your ability to grow yourself, to change, to get to the next level. So what I wanna invite you into is this idea of doing only two approaches a day. If you wanna do a lot more approaches beyond that, that's up to you. If you're having fun, you're having a blast, keep going. But don't force yourself into too much pain. Don't push into the pain too much, just enough so you can get an experience, grow and learn from it. So that's number one. So two approaches a day. Now, if you're a total beginner and you're terrified to approach, like when I first approached, then keep it simple. Just ask time or directions or something like that. And if you're having trouble with that, in the future, we can address something around that too. And in workshops, we have really good ways to get past people's fear of approaching. I literally was one that had trouble when I first started with uh, even asking a girl the time. I felt like I was lying. I was such a nice guy. I felt like I was lying when I'd ask people the time. I couldn't even ask the guy the time unless I really needed to know it. I felt like I was gonna, I was manipulating or doing something wrong. So there was a part of me that freaked out even at that, but I finally got through it. I was able to ask the time directions that eventually flirt and then eventually be forward, eventually be direct. There are processes for that. Sometimes you do need a coach if you're that bad though. Somebody who can kind of tow you in and work with you and work with your fear and show you how to get past it. And then you can kind of take off from there. So number one, two approaches a day. If you're, if you're really nervous and you're really scared, directions or the time, something simple. And I want you to chart this over the next 30 to 90 days minimum. We're gonna be keeping these going for a while. The second part of your challenge for this weekend, and this is really the weekend part of it, where we're gonna be working on a specific skill set to make the approach better. Like there's the approach itself, and then there's some quality you gotta to bring to the approach. One of them in the future will be probably what eye color was this person when you were talking to them. Could you feel your grounding? Could you feel your feet and your legs? And then you journal about it. So you're learning to put your attention on what you're feeling versus what you're thinking. That's number one, but we're not gonna work with that one yet. We're gonna be moving towards those. First, I wanna work with a little bit of expression. So I wanna work with highs. For the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or if you can do two to three days, I want you to go say hi to at least 25 people a day. And I don't mean stopping them. I mean, literally just walking by and going, hey, how's your day going? But with as much expression as you can muster. Imagine you can feel your heart. A couple weeks ago, I did a video about learning to feel your heart more in instant connection. Watch that, learn to feel your heart, and then go out and do the 25 highs. And literally walk by and with some good volume, opening your chest, feeling some warmth or tingling here if you can. Look at people and look at them early. Give some distance. Hey, how's your day going? Hi. Hey, how you doing? Nice hat. Um, hey, your dog looks awesome. Can I might you mind if I pet it really quick? And you're gonna do like 25 of those a day. Super short interactions where you're bringing value. That's the key. I'm gonna express very loudly and with as much good feeling energy from my heart as I can. I'm gonna express to the person in front of me. It's gonna be, hey, how's your day going? Not, hi, hi. Hey, how's your day going? It's gonna be more like, Open up here. Hi, how's your day going? Hey, nice hat, man. I like it. Or, you know, that's a beautiful dress. Or, hey, what's up? You know, hi. Uh, or you can yell across the street. Hey, how's your day going? And you just play. 
you're learning to have fun, you're learning to flow, you're learning to relax. So this is gonna do several things. One, it's gonna get you used to being seen. So everybody around you is gonna hear you and see you. That's a big problem when it comes to approaching and being outgoing. We're, not, we're uncomfortable being seen. So we shrink ourselves. Number two, it's gonna get you used to expressing yourself emotionally, which is another huge problem in your stops because you gotta learn to express yourself. You gotta learn to have some emotional content because if you don't, what's gonna happen is people are gonna pull away. So like Bruce Lee said, emotional content. I think he said that in Enter the Dragon, right? You guys can put it in the comments. But anyways, you gotta have that emotional content. You don't wanna be numb. Remember, you don't wanna be the guy that goes, hi, hi, how you doing? Nobody's gonna respond to that. What you wanna do is reach a point where at least 60% of the people are nodding or smiling or saying hi back to you. The better you get, the more they'll want to respond to you. And the worse you get, the more they wanna pull away from you, the less expression. So that'll, that's a good indicator of how open or closed you're being when you do this. Number three, I want you to work to where you're not skipping anybody, as minimal as possible. You're walking through a small, good, consistent crowd of people, uh, uh, maybe an open air mall or something, and you're just like, hey, how you doing? How you doing? And if you have to skip one or two because it's so crowded, that's okay. But for the most part, you should be able to go through these 25 in less than 10 minutes. I've done this many times. And I can get through a hundred in about a half hour if I don't stop and chat with people. I just flow, connect, have a good time, smile. I've done it where I've been dancing. I've done it where I've done nothing but almost compliments the whole time. I've done it where I sat on the ground and did it. So there's a lot of different ways to do this. We'll get into those challenges later. For this weekend, start off with at least 25 highs. If you wanna push it up and you feel like 25 is too easy for you, go up to 50. You can go all the way up to 100 at a half hour if you really wanna push yourself but don't sacrifice quality for quantity. Really work on that expression, that feeling, not rushing. And this is also really important. Make sure there's plenty of distance. I'm gonna say this again, distance between you and the person you say hi to. If they're right next to you, it's not gonna register in their brain till they're turning around. You want a, enough feet so it can register, so they can look at you in the eye, you can hold eye contact, you can nod, you can smile, and you can continue on. After you do it the first time, come back to this video and watch the instructions again. I guarantee you, your mind's gonna be racing if you've never done this before, and you're gonna have new insights and new realizations. And the last thing, journal. Journal each time you do it. What are you learning? Not what went wrong. What are you learning? What are you realizing? How are you growing? And if you know how to release, you can do your releasing at that point. So the exercises this weekend is you're gonna begin your two approaches a day, long-term, and you're gonna do 25 highs with all the qualities I mentioned each day this weekend, preferably Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then you're gonna come back and comment in this video so we can see how you did, okay? Now, we've done these highs a lot here, and usually people suck at them in the beginning. It's okay. People have to do them for a while. So if you wanna continue them on through the whole week, that would be a more advanced option. I'm gonna do seven days and see what exercise they give me next week. They have a huge effect on getting you comfortable with people. Imagine you get so good at saying hi, that you're just walking down the street and you're like, hey, how you doing, how you doing? And people are responding, they're nodding, pretty girls are looking at you, they're smiling at you, they're giggling, everything feels good. Then one day you're just walking along and you walk into a nice restaurant or you walk into a grocery store or a market and you're standing next to a cute girl and then suddenly it just comes out of you because you're so comfortable saying hi to people now and you're like, hey, how's your day going? And it comes naturally from the heart. Then she turns because it felt so natural and she connects with you. I know there's other steps beyond that. There's continuing the conversation and playing. We're gonna get into exercises around that. But for now, just remember that first bit is so powerful. You gotta get started. You wanna get off on a solid foot where you're connected. So again, remember walking into the store, that's the goal. Be able to walk up to somebody, you walk at the market, there's a cute girl, you're at the, you're at the Whole Foods market and you look over to her and you're like, hey, how's your day going? It just comes out so natural that she can't help but respond to you. And she can't help but open up because your heart's so open. That is the goal. So with that said, I really want you to put a comment in this video. What aspect of this exercise are you gonna do? And how long are you gonna do it for? The weekend or the whole week? And are you gonna start your three? And then throughout the week, feel free to come back and add comments to your comment and updates. We'll be monitoring these videos each week as we're putting them out. 
So uh, with that said, I hope you like this video and it's our first Fearless Friday video. So make sure to like the video, subscribe. Like I said, put a comment in the video, hit that bell notification for the subscription so you get all the videos in the future. And remember, only the confident really live, especially in this case. Take care, have a beautiful day. Thank you.